actually, Leanne and I first met it was 1994. <laughs> Why I remember that detail, I don't know. But we were in Fraser, Michigan at um, the Mid-America competition that we all used to go to every year in the Midwest. And Leanne was skating for Miami on their junior team and I was skating on a novice team that year. And um, we were actually in the bathroom <laughs> washing our hands and she said hi to me. And me as a 14 year old thought that was just like the absolute coolest thing that this girl who skates on Miami's team <laughs> said hello to little old me from Cleveland, Ohio. Um, and that was my first encounter with Leanne Joker. Yes. My 19 year old self, I talk to everybody. If you guys haven't caught that yet, I love to talk to people. I love to read people's name tags when we go places. Cause I think there's nothing worse than feeling invisible in the world. So as a youngest child, I make it my <laughs> mission to make people feel seen, but, um, really like the most meaningful connection for me, I traveled a lot to go watch Miami skate after I graduated college and stuff. So I remember getting to go, and visit and stay with Vicky at events and getting to watch Carla compete and seeing her from afar as an athlete. Um, so that was like the, the, my first like real introduction because Vicky always, her one of greatest sounds was like picking talent and seeing people and what they could do in the future. And she was always one that, that Vicky talked about was, was having talent, so pretty cool. Oh yeah, I think we're definitely yin and yang mm -hmm. um, in a lot of places. I mean, I think we definitely share the commonality of you know passion for the program, dedication for the program, the athletes, all of those sort of things. But um, I am <laughs> definitely more the observer Measured. and processor, and Leanne is the uh, the talker and the social and the small talker where I definitely, those are not my strong points. I think we just temper each other and, and push, push ourselves to our strengths. And I don't feel like we ever like have to like justify why we feel the way we feel mm -hmm. or think the way we no. think, but I think we feel really comfortable challenging each other sure. on how we think and why we think the way we do. Mm -hmm. And we're really good at asking each other questions that maybe we don't think to ask ourselves. And also recognizing their strengths. And I think that's a big piece um, athletically and outside of the athletic realm that you know many of us are uncomfortable speaking about where we excel. And you know we can get a laundry list, 100 things deep of all of the things that I would like to do to improve. So I think we've really tried to emphasize and get them to think about what am I doing well? Why is this working? Where are my strengths? How can I continue to highlight those strengths in everything I do on the ice and off the ice? Mm -hmm. um, and what that looks like is we meet with the athletes one-on-one. -on -one. Um, in a typical year, we meet with our kids who have shared spots probably three or four times and everybody else twice. And that's the question. They're used to criticizing themselves. Mm -hmm. So Carla literally smiling across the desk. <laughs> the chairs in the office sometimes just make people cry as soon as they sit in them. And then you ask <laughs> them to say what they like about themselves and you would think that we're putting bamboo under their nails. Um, but Carla very intentionally was like, so where do you feel good about yourself and your skating right now? And the first time a kid's asked that, they're like, oh, I don't know. I can tell you what I need to work on. We're like, we know you can. What do you feel good about? <laughs> So trying to shift that mindset and hopefully, you know, that's something that they can take with them forward once they leave us. Mm -hmm. You know, on some level, we are who we are and we do what we do. And we do it because we think it's the right thing to do at the time, the right thing for the person, the right thing for the team. And um, never for the accolades, never for those high fives. But mm -hmm. it certainly is... Um, nice to kind of have that that full circle moment and mm -hmm. um, you know see sort of the fruits of our labor and yeah. seeing everybody flourish is really to me the best report card is seeing where everybody goes once they leave us seeing the things they accomplish in skating outside of skating and in life mm -hmm. um, you know and then certainly to hear from them mm -hmm. in a moment like this is also really special one of the coolest things I think um, is that we have kind of done like the, the final Jedi training of being able to make a change 
and not be fully identified by the sport. And that's something that we talk mm -hmm. to our athletes about all the time is like, you are more than skating. Mm -hmm. You are more than skating. Cultivate your interests, build your, like, and after like everyone started to process this, the number of our kids and our current kids and alumni who just reached out to say, I'm really happy and I'm really proud of you. Mm -hmm. Like, that was cool because mm -hmm. like as Carla said they're like they did listen they did hear us say that we can make it nothing is permanent mm -hmm. no decision is fatal like just try it and that was that was really cool